Hey everyone, I'm Drew from NWA3D, and we're going to go over how to add the A31 into Cura. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to add our printer. If we've just installed Cura, it'll already have this screen open, but if you already have another printer selected, you can go over here and click in on your actual printer name and click Add Printer. From here, we're going to scroll down in the Add a Non-Networked Printer list until we get to NWA3D LLC. Then we'll choose the A31. It might take a second to load on older computers, so just give it a bit. Once the printer's loaded, then we're ready to choose the nozzle size. If you bought a standard A31, then you'll choose the standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle. If you have an A31E or an A31 Engineering, you'll choose 0.6. That's what we're going to choose today. Once we have our nozzle selected, we can click on our quality settings. Here is the layer height. That is the distance that each layer is on your printer. So if your layer height is the smallest, all the way over to the left, then it will be the best quality, but it will take longer to print. If it is all the way to the right, it will be the lowest quality, but it will print the fastest. The 0.28 is specially optimized for the 0.6 millimeter nozzle. The infill is the amount of material filled inside of your model. If you'd like to move that slider around, you can change that as well. If you ever need to change other settings for particular filaments or different settings inside your printer, you can click Custom and change all kinds of things underneath the hood. You can scroll down and change things such as the type of infill, the material temperature, and whether or not it has retraction for something like flexible filament or you'd want to turn this off. If you want to see different settings or all the settings, you can click on the gear icon right here to see all the different settings that are available in Cura. There's tons to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the regular settings for now. To load a model, we'll click the open button in the top left. You can load any .stl model into Cura. Once we select a model, we'll hit open. And then we can hold the right mouse button to rotate around our screen. If you click on the model, you can move the model around by clicking and dragging, or by moving the arrows. You can scale the model by clicking Scale and either changing the values here, or by dragging these different connectors. As long as your model is yellow, it's 3D printable. If we make it too big, it's not going to be printable. You can always hit reset to change your model back to the original form. The last thing I'm going to show you is rotate. When you click rotate, you can rotate your model in different angles depending on which circle you drag. You can also choose select face to align to build plate to specifically select a different face to align. I can select select face to align to the build plate and choose the bottom of my model to snap it to the plate. We always want to try to have the flattest side down as possible. To change the name of our model, we can click on the pencil right here. If we'd like to edit or change anything about it, and press Enter to save it. To slice your model, we'll click Slice. Once your model is sliced, it will tell you how long it takes, and also will give you a preview function for you to check the settings of your printer itself. You can change the different color scheme of your preview from the material type to the line type. I like line type because you can see all the different parts of your model. And then you can scroll this slider up and down to see exactly how your model is going to print. You can also click the play button here to get an estimation of how your model is actually going to be printed on your printer. So you can see a visualization before it even starts. When you're ready to save, you can just click Save to Removable Drive to save it directly to your SD card. If your SD card is not plugged in, you can click this checkbox right here and click Save to File and save it anywhere on your computer. You'll take that G code file, put it on your A31, and then print. It's as easy as that. 
So if you need any help or questions at all, go to nwa3d.com support, and we'll help you out. Good luck 3D printing out there.